mathematical modeling of mechanical system a mathematical model is a description of your system using mathematical concept and language there are different types of um, systems for example mechanical system thermal system electrical system digital system hydraulic system pneumatic system dynamic system etc but in this lecture we are going to focus only on mechanical system that is how to model a mathematical model of mechanical system in simulink a mechanical this is the conceptual diagram of any mechanical system the mechanical system consists of three major elements namely mass spring damper so this diagram represent the conceptual representation of mechanical system we can uh, represent the equation of mass using inertia f is equal to ma newton second law similarly we can represent the uh, equation for spring using hooke's law f is equal to kx then equation for damper f is equal to cv so now we are going to discuss in detail about a mathematical model of mechanical system this diagram is also known as spring mass damper system so this is the conceptual representation of spring mass damper system it consists of mass spring and damper here our objective is to find the displacement of mass after applying the disturbance of f if we apply a disturbance of f on mass the mass will vibrate like this so this is an example for dynamic system our aim is to find the response of or displacement of the mass over a period of time so for this purpose only we are going for mathematical model so this is conceptual diagram now i am going to draw the free body diagram so a free body diagram is nothing but a representation of force say for example we are applying a disturbance of f so we are applying force in the upward direction so inertia force will act in the downward direction we can represent that that inertia force as m d squared x by dt squared then we are applying force on upward direction so the spring force will be opposite to applied force so applied force upward so spring force downward kx then damper is nothing but friction element so friction always act opposite to applied force so applied force upward direction so friction force cx dot so total force acting on the system r m d squared x by dt squared downward kx downward cx dot downward f upward so let me write the equation upward force equal to downward force so downward force are m d squared x by dt squared plus c dx by dt plus kx equal to f from that d squared x by dt squared equal to 1 by m f minus c x dot plus kx so this is the equation so x dot is nothing but dx by dt so this is what we are going to model now so acceleration equal to 1 by m into f minus cx dot plus kx so this is the governing equation or differential equation for spring mass damper system so this is what we are going to model in simulink so this is the uh, simulink model of spring mass damper system first i will explain the model then we will see how to model this system one by one step by step okay here i have dx d squared x by dt squared acceleration so the integrating acceleration you will get dx by dt again integration of velocity you will get x so this is what we need to find so this will be connected to scope so x into k so this is kx so kx will come here minus kx again this is x dot dx by dt so x dot will be here so this is cx dot so cx dot will come here okay so this is f so f is here 
so this point represent f minus kx minus cx dot okay into 1 by m so this is 1 by m so into 1 by m is nothing but d squared x by dt squared so this is what we have written in the previous slide so the d squared x by dt squared equal to 1 by m into f minus kx minus cx dot is represented by this symlink model okay let us see how to model this equation in symlink first open symlink select integrator from continuous block then select gain from commonly used block press ctrl r to rotate then press ctrl c to copy a multiple gain block go to math operation select add double click add you can make it as 3 plus there so now we have add gain integrators on symlink library again go to commonly used block select constant where we are applying some force f then add scope at the output now connect integrators gain as represented in the slide make it as gain as 1 by m k and c we will specify this value later right so x connected to kx c connected to cx dot f connected to add block double click constant make it as 10 so this is the spring mass damper model now select blocks accept constant scope then right click select create subsystem you will get a system like this so make it as mkc system double click on right click format background color you can change again double click click add make it as minus minus plus now it's okay now you can see that so this is the mathematical model now make m is equal to 4 k equal to 20 c equal to 3 uh, now copy this go to simulation model configuration parameter where you have to specify some values start time 0 end time 10 type fixed step then fixed step size 0 0.001 1 milliseconds now click on scope select properties click on general select history and tick limit data points then the style make these changes now you have white color figure now run the simulation you will get a result like this so this result clearly shows that after giving a force of 10 newton on mass m4 we are getting a displacement like this maximum it will reach up to this point then the entire mass take 10 second to settle see here it has oscillation like that up to 10 after that it will settle so maximum it takes 10 seconds so this is the observation from the mathematical model but in analysis our aim is to reduce this oscillation time maybe we have to reduce this to 2 3 you can consider this spring mass system as suspension system our major objective in suspension system is to reduce the amount of vibration or displacement uh, felt by car body so this modeling and simulation will help up to this point okay now i'm going to change some values so this is called simulation whereas the model is called mathematical model this is mathematical model right so when you do a simulation by playing this button that will be considered as now i'm going to change some values m is equal to 2 k 20 c 3 i'm going to specify these values in command window now you run the simulation you will get a windows like that 
see here so the background the uh, is the simulink model is called mathematical model whereas the result which we are getting in the scope is called simulation now i have changed mass from 4 to 2 kg now see the scope you have a different values here the spring will settle before 6 seconds so slightly we are getting better result compared to previous one like that here you can change k and c value so we know normally don't change m value we normally change stiffness and damping coefficient and c values in order to get the uh, proper value so this is how we can do a mathematical model and simulation as well as analysis in simulink using for mechanical system like mechanical system we can also do simulation for electrical thermal hydraulic and pneumatic systems also so this is the mathematical model in simulink when you click on subsystem it will go inside and this is the simulation we are observing from the mathematical model here it takes around uh, 10 seconds for settling similarly we can reduce that value by changing the value of mkc so this is how we can do a simple simulation of mechanical system in matlab in the upcoming videos we are going to discuss about suspension system car uh, cruise control and active suspension etc etc thank you